School is resuming and for many students, specifically those who suffer from asthma, face lessons on how to manage this chronic disease. Michelle Casalia from the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America has some great tips for those who suffer from asthma and food allergies. You might be surprised to learn which allergens are lurking and where. It's back to school for children across the country, but young asthma sufferers and their families face an extra set of lessons on managing this chronic disease. Back to school can be stressful for parents, but if you have a child with asthma, it can be extremely stressful. You have to deal with triggers outside the classroom and inside the classroom. So where are these triggers lurking? Rugs or carpets which can collect dust mites and chalk dust. Rigorous sports may exert your child, freshly mowed grass on the playground, trees and weeds outside a classroom, and chemicals used for cleaning the building and treating the lawn, just to name a few. Some of those outside and inside triggers can have a child go into a full-blown severe asthma attack. Some of those symptoms may include tightness in the chest, coughing, and wheezing. Another concern for school children, food allergies. I know as a mom, it can be extremely stressful sending your child to school with a food allergy. But if you prepare ahead of time and you communicate your concerns and the triggers and the food allergies that your child is dealing with, it can make the whole situation be so much more manageable. And for more tips and information on asthma and food allergies, visit the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America at aafa.org or go to our website, thebalancingact.com.